What's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna go over the best drumsticks for you. First off, if you can subscribe or like this video, if it helps you out, I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, answer below. Uh, if you have any drumstick questions, or even if you have any video requests for me in the future. I recently saw an argument online about what are the best drumsticks for beginners and professionals from just a bunch of people, and I thought there was a lot of wrong information. And I ordered 24 pairs for myself the other day and realized you got to be pretty confident to order 24 pairs of drumsticks that you're getting the right one, or you're going to have wrong sticks for, you know, a couple years. So I figured I'm going to give the information that I use when I pick my sticks so you can make the right choice too. So I have several boxes of drumsticks I've bought over the last, you know, long time. There's a lot of options out there. This is not even the only box. So which ones do you get? The first thing you need to realize is that there is so many different sizes and combinations. It's almost endless. When you're dealing with the size, which I'm talking about the diameter, the lower the number, the bigger the stick. So a 2B is bigger than a 5B. A 5B would be bigger than a 7A. The next letter in there, the B or the A, is a size within the number. So a A is going to be smaller than a B. A 5A is pretty close to a 5B but you're gonna notice a difference in the feel. Next off, the length. Drumsticks range between, I would say about 15 and a half to 17 inches. Um, a half an inch in a drumstick makes a huge difference. This is a 5B Hickory and a 5B Intense. As you can see, they're about a half an inch different, maybe pretty close to that. Other companies use things such as power in their title, but it makes a big difference. It adds more weight to the front of the stick. I like to hold my sticks at the bottom. So I'm going to notice a difference. If you're someone who moves your fulcrum around, or if your fulcrum is just further up on the stick, an intense stick might be really good for you to get just that extra little bit of length and weight on the front. I've also noticed a 5A intense, the weight is going to be similar to almost a regular 5B. So if you like the weight of a stick and the length of another one, you can almost mix and match certain things like that by getting a, a thinner, longer stick to have the same weight in a different size. Now for even more options, there's different types of wood. Los Cabos offer a maple, a hickory, and a red hickory. If you can see here, there's a red hickory and a hickory. It's definitely a different color and it's a different wood. The maples, I find, are very fast. Uh, they're a lightweight stick. You don't feel them as much in your hand, but they do tend to get a little dented up on rim shots. Uh, the hickory is your regular hickory stick, and the red hickory, this thing is a tank. Um, you know, even playing on the ride a lot, they don't get dented up. Rim shots, they don't break. These things are rock solid. I do feel it a little more in my hands, and they are a little heavier than the regular stick, but they are durable. If you break a lot of sticks, I couldn't recommend the Lost Cabos Red Hickory more. You can also choose tips. Tips change the feel and the sound of your stick. Uh, your choices are a wood tip or a nylon tip. I always play a wood tip. Um, nylon tips give you a little more stick definition but I have made kind of just over the last few years notice that a wood tip will degrade over time. They get a little flatter, they get a little chipped up, and then eventually they don't make the same sound they used to and they're kind of garbage. A nylon tip will maintain, because they don't chip, but they can shatter or break. So a wood tip will kind of degrade where a nylon tip is good and then it's not good. Um, both of them seem to last a long time and if you don't hit really hard, you're not really going to have a problem with it. But it's more of a sound thing for me because I go don't go through sticks all that fast, so I prefer the warmer sound of a wood stick. You can also get uh, like ball tips, acorn tips, barrel tips. There's all kinds of different tips on your sticks. This will change the sound, the stick definition, and the feel as well. Last is the taper of the stick. For the example, these jazz sticks have a longer taper. They're narrower up here, and it goes a little further. The taper of the stick really changes the feel and the response. Um, a longer taper has less weight in the front whereas a short taper is going to be a little more front heavy and give you more of a similar feeling to an intense stick. Also, a thinner front end allows the stick to pop up quicker. That also depends on your head tension and all that stuff too. But you're going to lose a little bit of volume with a thinner taper and have a little more response. Um, if you're just starting out, I wouldn't recommend worrying about the taper as much as opposed to finding a middle of the road stick for yourself. So who should play which stick and which one's the best for you? If you're a beginner, I usually recommend a 5A and a 5B. Buy them both, find out which one you like more. They're gonna be different enough that they're gonna feel different in your hands. Uh, everyone's built different, we all have different sized hands, different technique. Um, at least once you've decided if you like the 5B more than the 5A, you could maybe go to a 3A or a 2B, something a little bigger. If you prefer the lighter stick, you could continue down that path. 
Also, if you like the 5B more, you could try something like a 5B Intense. Or same with the 5As, get the Intense version. Now, do you like a light, longer or shorter stick? Um, 5A and 5B are the most middle-of-the-road sticks I can kind of think of that are really good general purpose for everything. Another thing that dictates the type of stick would be the type of music you play. Um, if you're playing jazz, a 2B stick is going to be a lot louder. You don't need it that loud in most uh, jazz scenarios. You could do it, but you're really going to be fighting it the whole time. Same with if you're playing, uh, you know, like some extremely heavy rock music with, you know, a little couple pairs of chopsticks. It's not going to be very loud. Uh, for heavy and slow music, I would definitely go with a bigger stick for more volume. So why did I end up with maple sticks in a death metal band? Well, I mic'd most of the time when we play live, and I mic'd when I record. Uh, the only time I notice when we jam, if they're really cranked on their amps, I need to not compensate to get the same volume I get out of a heavier stick while hitting my toms because then you'll get tired if you actually overuse your light sticks. You'd be better off hitting lighter with a heavier stick for the same sound. I did notice an immediate uh, increase in endurance and speed switching to these maple sticks though. Uh, there's, they're just extremely fast, extremely light, they feel good in my hands and I don't get tired. Same thing is if you're holding back on a really heavy stick trying to play quiet, it's just easier to get the right stick for the job. At the end of the day, we all have different hands and we all play differently. One thing I will state is I got these sticks for dissolution, these light sticks specifically. I use these in dissolution. In my other band, I actually use I, you know, 3As or 5Bs most of the time. I'm not playing blast beats the whole time and I want a little more volume and I'm not always mic'd. So depending on the job I do, I'm going to use different sticks. Sometimes when I'm recording, I'll use different sticks. But you need to find out what works for you. One last tip too. Lighter sticks and smaller sticks are not going to break your cymbals as fast. When I used to play huge heavy sticks all the time when I was playing more hardcore type stuff, I broke cymbals left and right. I, knock on wood, haven't broke any cymbals in a long time. So keep that in mind as well. If you're playing with big sticks and hitting hard, something's got to give. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask below. Video requests, and please like and subscribe. Helps me out.